first of all, I want to get into the outfits and not get into the outfits, but I want to talk about <laughs> that. It uh, would be interesting. Uh, but I want to. It's it's been a year since the first time you were bit, uh, you were on the show, right? Yeah. One year. And and look at you. You're huge, huge in one year. Not I, as big as Ellen. Uh, <laughs> That's, a, that's a, a, a steep climb very quickly, don't you think? It, it happened very fast, um, but I just really love my fans so much, and I'm really grateful. I thank God every day. You, I'm just so blessed. Yeah, you have great, gr a lot of fans and, and great fans, but you're, you're so entertaining. There's no one like you. I mean, it's, it's, it's like you're not just a great singer. You're, you're, a, you're a show. You're an entertainer, and you actually sing, which is very important. Very, thank you, Ellen. Uh, it's, a, it's important to I go. always think that's funny when I meet people, and they're like, oh, my God, it's amazing. You sing. I'm like, are we supposed to sing? Yeah. <laughs> you are supposed to sing, it's but it's... part of the, the gig, isn't it? Yeah. That we have to sing live. It, when your, your title is singer, you should right. sing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> Not just in the studio, but actually when you pay money to go see somebody, yeah. it's nice to be here. There, even the mistakes or anything, it's nice here. All right, so, uh, but let's talk about the clothes, okay? This is, I was hugging you, and what is this made of? Some type of a... Latex. Okay, it's very thick, thick plastic. Is that yeah. comfortable? Is it, is it breathable? Is it, is it... It's fashionable. It is, it is. <laughs> well... It's from a very good friend of ours from London. Mm -hmm. um, they're amazing, and they make all kinds of latex fashion for me. They did it for the Bad Romance video, which I love, love so much. We have a quick montage, because seriously, the outfits that you come up with are... And, and do, you, do you all of a sudden, like, are you dreaming? Do you take some type <laughs> of a drug? Do you... Like, where does your inspiration come from when you want to say where that thing that is... Um... Well, actually, um, these are all different designers. Um, uh -huh. And some of them aren't. Uh, the the Kermit the Frog outfit is Jean de Castelbar Jack. Mm -hmm. The um, what's been known as the Bird's Nest hat is Philip Tracy, who's one of the most famous hat designers in the world. So I always think it's funny when people call it a Bird's Nest because it's because it's Phil Philip. Yeah, woo. <laughs> and then um, Hussein Schley and Prada. And uh, actually, we made that red one out of a, a stripper gown that I found at a store for like eight dollars. So some of them you've made, some of them are, are because I see these runway shows. And, and I think, who buys that? Who wears that? You do. I mean... Well, <laughs> that's what I'll say. The, the whole point of what I do, the monster ball, the music, uh, the performance art aspect of it, I want to create a space for my fans where they can feel free and they can celebrate because I didn't fit, it, fit in in high school and I felt like a freak. So I like to create this atmosphere for my fans where they feel like they have a freak in me to hang out with. Yeah, yeah. And they don't feel alone. So, so that's why. So it isn't really for someone to talk about you. It, it is not for that. It really is to create a space for people. Yeah, well, this is really who I am. And it took a long time to be OK with that, because I'm sure you all, and maybe in high school, Ellen, you, you feel discriminated against, like you don't fit in, and you, you want to be like everyone else, but not really. On the inside, you really want to be like Boy George, you know? Yeah. So uh, I, uh, well, I did anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I, I really, I want my fans to know that it's okay, you know. Sometimes in life you don't always feel like a winner, but that doesn't mean you're not a winner. I was a rebel like you wouldn't believe. I, in, in high school, um, I wore outfits that I would be, I think be considered, I was in Atlanta, Texas, a very small town in, Adla in Texas, Atlanta, Texas, and I wore an outfit that was, I would be the Lady Gaga of Atlanta, Texas, I think. I love. Look at this crazy, I was wild. Look at the outfit I wore. <laughs> Shocking. It but, looks great. I yeah. love it. It's but, very 70s. You will then, I wanted to see what you would. I was ahead of my time because I put you in it and I think you, you could carry it off. <laughs> it just needed the head thing. I have a few questions for you just yes. because, um, first of all, and, and I, I, you're, again, so, so. I really am a huge fan. I think, Thanks, I think you're really. Uh, I'm a huge fan too. Thank you. Who so, doesn't love Ellen? So, um, <laughs> My mom's backstage freaking out because she loves Ellen so much. She's like, can I feed her? She's backstage. Does she want, she wants to feed me? No, she wants to see me too. <laughs> I, thought you just, I thought you said your mother said, can I feed her? She might like to do yeah. that too. Here you go. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I 
want to meet your mother. Yeah. I do. And how's your dad? He's doing better, yeah. Good, good. good. Yeah, I'm actually going to play later in the set um, the song that I wrote for him, Speechless, will be at the end of the show. Because your dad just had open heart surgery, right? He had open heart surgery. Uh, he had a, an aortic valve transplant. Wow. Um, and uh, I was on the road, and I was having a lot of trouble missing my parents and wanting to be with my dad. So I wrote this song, Speechless, for him to sort of beg him to get the surgery, and uh, it worked. Fantastic. That's good. All right. These are questions, and I want you to answer them honestly, okay? Yeah. What do you watch on TV? Ellen. What else? <laughs> good answer. Do you watch TV? I don't really watch very much TV, but I like watching, um, like, sci-fi monster movies and things like that. Okay. What's, uh, what's the best Christmas gift you have ever received or can imagine receiving? My father bought me a four-track Tascam recorder mm -hmm. when I was about 11 years old. And it was this really, really simple mechanism that I could just sit at the piano and hook up a mic and record by myself. That's probably the best gift that my dad and ever And look gave what me. this led to. Look yeah. what that did. That was a smart investment. Be good to your parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be, and be good to your kids. And as John Mayer says, fathers, be good to your daughters. <laughs> daughters will... Anyway, Lady Gaga. Thank you. I love that dress. That's beautiful. Thank you. How are you? I am good. We have not seen each other. Well, we saw each other at Jimmy's wedding. Yes. Um, they saw the movie, and it is fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, you have a, a, a big uh, hit on your hands, and you're amazing in it. And uh, we'll talk about the movie later, because I have you here for a little while. But um, do I call you, what, what am I calling you? Stephanie, Lady Gaga, Gaga, Lady, Miss Lady? Whatever you, whatever you like. Well, what do you like people good. to call you? I actually really love Lady, because um, Tony Bennett calls me Lady. And... Uh, all right. I like Lady. Yeah. What if I call you, I don't want to be like everybody else, what if I call you Miss Lady? <laughs> Done. Hey, Miss Lady. Hey, Miss Lady. Hey, Miss Lady. Later. Later. <laughs> All right, so um, you uh, live in L.A. now, too. Yes. Well, not L.A., but around here. Yes. Because I was giving you a hard time because you were, like, staying in a, in a hotel room or something. All the time. Yeah, and, or other people's. And I was like, you got some coin. You can get a house. Yeah. So you got a house. Yeah. I saw pictures of your... Did you get a new little puppy? Did you get a new French bulldog? I did. I did Gustav. <gasps> Oh, my God. Yeah, he's a little... And they angel. all get along? Yeah, they do. They all get along. Well, every once in a while, there's a little fight over the food. Oh, God, that little puppy is adorable. Thank you. Adorable. Um, I, I don't want to take full credit for your, for your career, but I do, <laughs> I do believe I'm partially responsible. When you were here, I don't know when it was. Was it the last time, five years ago? I, do you remember me telling you you should act? I didn't remember that. I did. I told you. Do we have the clip? I'm obviously I, not good at remembering things. That's right. This the good is... thing we have, we're on television. I can show you the clip. <laughs> You've got to go into acting next, right? Thanks. Well, I, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, I always, when I, when I talk about acting, um, I, I'm always surprised that no one ever asks me to audition. I told you you should act. And was I right? I mean, she's an amazing actress, isn't she? Yeah. You're amazing. You're so kind. No, I, I mean, I... Portia couldn't go that night when I went to the screening, and I came home and I was like, not only is, is the movie great, your, obviously, singing is great, but your acting is so natural and effortless, and it almost looked like there was no script. It looked like you were just kind of having a conversation, and there, there couldn't have been more, that, like, no take was the same. That's how it felt. You know, uh, that is 100% a testament to Bradley as an incredible filmmaker, an incredible director, an incredible singer. I'm sure you can all agree. Yeah, that's a great voice. Beautiful voice. And, you know, 
he just provided for such a sanctuary on set, and it was, you know, he says it to me in the film, and he said it to me in real life, all you have to do is trust me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I really felt like I could trust him every day on set, and it, and it was just, it was thrilling. It was a totally different experience than I've ever had. Yeah, well, obviously, than America Horror Story, that would be very different that you did that. Yes. Yeah, very different. Um, we'll not, talk about... Not playing a, you know... <laughs> Vapid vampire. Yes, exactly. <laughs> totally different. Um, all right, we're going to take a break, uh, and not as much makeup as the vampire. No, yes. Yeah. yeah. Different. Um, all right, we're going to take a break, and uh, more with uh, Miss Lady after this. We are back with Lady Gaga from A Star is Born. And I, I got to say, I'm just, I'm so grateful to be here. Being in this film has been one of the most fulfilling artistic experiences of my life, and I'm so very grateful. <laughs> And thanks for having me again. Anytime. Anytime. I am happy to have you anytime. Yeah, this is a lot, but this is, I would say, it's, it's the biggest thing you've ever done, and you deserve everything that you're gonna, that's gonna come from this. Thank um, you. I, I went out on a limb on, on I, and I don't know what's happening yet with the Oscars, but I just told her during the commercial, she's gonna win an Oscar for this film. <laughs> You know, yep. the, the reward for me is all in the work, and the reward for me is all in just it being something that moves you. Uh, that's what's most important to me. <coughs> um, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> no uh, fear. Uh, <laughs> no fear out listen. of this one. All right, let's play a game. Um, we are going to play. I thought we were playing a game we the whole time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That life is a game. <laughs> you know that. It's called Burning Questions, so I will ask a question and you will uh, say the answer and then hit that. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite body part? Nose. All right. And you can say it and then hit that. It doesn't oh, really matter, though. <laughs> I'll say uh, mine or, or my, uh, my uh, arms. Um, dogs or cats? Dogs. Cats. And dogs. Um, who was your first celebrity crush? Adrian Brody. <laughs> My first celebrity crush was uh, Michael Jackson. Favorite thing to do in Vegas when not performing? Listening to Tony Bennett. Playing with my dogs and cats. What are your uh, three things that you must do every day? I have to uh, work out, I have to meditate, and I have to sing. I have to work out, I have to meditate, and I have to have my wine. <laughs> uh, Me too. <laughs> uh, what do you sleep in at night? Nothing. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> If you could only watch one reality show for the rest of your life, which would it be? 90 Day Fiance. Ooh, I don't know that one. Um, God, I can't even think of one right now. <laughs> that makes me feel even worse. <laughs> What's the sexiest food? Pasta. OK. <laughs> um, Who would you share your first kiss with? I think his name was Austin. I was at camp. How old were you? 14. Wow. Late. <laughs> right? Isn't that late? 14? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite curse word? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Can you impersonate a New York cab driver yelling at another driver? Yo, what the f the matter with you? <laughs> Can you? Come on, come on, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, like he said, what the f the matter with you? 